Hey guys, I am remaking my collard greens video. Here's what you'll need. You'll definitely need some crushed red pepper. That's something different from the other video that I made. You'll need some salt, black pepper. You'll also need your collard greens. I got three bunches from a store called Kroger. They're about 98 cents a bunch. You're gonna need some garlic, um, maybe a half of a yellow onion and some smoked turkey next for this meal. All right, first thing you're going to do is get a big pot and just put some water in it. I'd probably say there's about two or maybe three cups of water in the pot. Sorry, guys, I don't measure. Um, I just kind of eyeball it. What I'm doing is I am placing the smoked turkey mix into the water straight from the package. You don't really want to rinse those because you don't want to lose the smoked um, flavor. But if you so desire to rinse yours off by any means, please do so. But I don't. Okay. <laughs> so we're just going to put those in the water and then um, put them on a medium high heat. We're going to cover them up and just allow them to come to a rolling boil uh, what you're going to do is probably pretty much cook them into until they're um, just tender enough so go ahead and let those boil while you get ready to pick your greens all right guys so now it's time to pick your greens and what you're going to do is get the big leafy part and you're going to go up to the top stem where it's no longer super thick and then you'll just pull down and get all of your leafy goodness out. You'll want to have some water, uh, want to have your sink washed out. It's imperative that you wash your sink. I did that before we started. Um, but you also put a little salt in there. This is something that my daddy taught me. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. But um, my daddy said you always got to wash your greens. So there's some salt. You just sprinkle, um, you know, be pretty generous with it. Um, while you're cleaning your greens or picking them. So again, I'm going to show you, you just go to the top, get the thinnest part of the stem, and then peel, peel away. pretty well done washing your greens you are going to um, get a little cutting board and just kind of roll them up and you're just gonna um, slice um, I try to make them kind of round uh, so I can slice them so that I don't have the big leaves in my greens you know so you just keep on slicing and slicing not dicing though but if you want some chopped greens then you go right on ahead but I'm just kind of just kind of breaking mine up so as you'll see in this little clip it's not gonna be big and you just chop and then I have them in some salt water so that they can start to get clean one last time okay guys so the smoked turkey necks are ready Ooh wait so you're gonna go ahead and add your greens to those just um as you can tell it's not I mean they're gonna fill up the pot you know but don't worry because you know them bad boys going to shrink on down for you. So go ahead and fill up your pot and then I'll tell you what to do next. All right, first things first, let's go ahead and put some garlic in there. Y'all know I love me some garlic, okay? Um, next, we're going to add some onions. Now, I only chopped like three-fourths of an onion. It was a medium onion, but I got a pretty good amount. So I'm not going to put all of that in there because that would just be too much. I'm going to go ahead and put some salt over top. Um, you may or may not need to add more salt. I usually don't do that until I'm almost done with the cooking process. This next thing I'm going to be adding is some black pepper. I mean, this is ground black pepper. When I'm cooking greens, I like it, you know, like that instead of like the, you know, kind of the flaky or the coarse um, black pepper. And then I'm going to just put some crushed red peppers. Now, like I said in my last video, I didn't use any crushed red pepper. Uh, I'm not a big fan of heat, 
But for some reason, like, it is growing on me, okay? So I had to chunk that red pepper in there. It's going to turn up. Go ahead and cover that. Leave it on, like, a medium-high heat and watch it go. Okay, these have been cooking for about three and a half, almost four hours, and baby, they are done. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. And you can just serve these um, in a bowl by themselves. I use a lot of meat because when I cook them, I don't usually um, cook any other meat with it, so I eat the neck bones with it. So. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial.